Hey everybody and welcome to Meals with Melissa where we come up with healthier versions of things that you love to eat. Now today I decided to do something super springy, summery, and super simple because you know what? I realize most of us don't have a lot of time. So today we are going to make stuffed strawberries, a stuffed strawberry dessert. It's super fast, super easy. You can just whip it up right there. Now there's a couple different ways to do this, but I'm going to show you something super simple. Now just so you know, I'm not a big fan of processed food or pre-made options, but we are going to use one today, actually a couple, um, but we're going to start out with a fresh whole food that absolutely reminds me of summer. So we're going to start out with strawberries and I've washed them because for some odd reason this pack came covered in sand. So they must have just pulled them and not really gotten through what they were supposed to do. That's all right. So we're going to cut the ends off. Now there's a couple of different ways to do this so that you can actually put some sort of filling in the strawberry. You can use a tip like you would for frosting, you know, those little tips, those little metal tips, and you can actually core it just a little bit and stick it in, but I don't have one. And we're gonna do something a little easier um, and it works just great. So I'm actually gonna place this, the bottom side that I just cut off side down, and I'm gonna put two slits in it most of the way down. So cut and across. I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about here in just a second so you can see it. Okay, so I've actually made it so it kind of opens up in the middle there, okay? So I'm gonna place it on my really pretty plate, okay? Which I'm first going to sprinkle, believe it or not, with cinnamon because cinnamon is a freebie and it's super easy and it makes it look, look kind of pretty. So I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle this a little bit. Just makes it look super fancy, you know. We eat with our eyes first. All right, so I'm gonna place that on my plate and actually I'm gonna do a couple more. Again, super simple. Now, again, you can do some different fillings. One of the ones that I saw on Pinterest, which Pinterest, I love Pinterest. Um, I use it so much for a lot of different things, but one great one is it's a lot of recipes. Um, and of course I look through first and I look at the ingredients and make sure that they're healthy whole foods or at least something that we can get away with as a better option than you know doing usually a full sugar version. Um, but one of the options was to do more of like a cheesecake flavor, so maybe some cream cheese, uh, maybe some sugar-free vanilla pudding. But again, remember that as you add those different products, they are processed options. So you have to keep that in mind. And not only that, I wouldn't do that all the time. You know, my goal really is to be optimal and I wanna eat healthy whole foods as much as possible. And whenever I'm buying something that is pre-made or has more than a couple of ingredients, it's definitely not a whole food. All right, so I'm gonna make sure that this has plenty of space. I already tried this once if you can't tell. <laughs> and made a huge mess. All right, so I'm gonna make my plate look pretty. And then I'm going to use some sugar-free Ready Whip. Now, I just had somebody ask me earlier if it was, I, sorry, I'm having some def technical difficulties here. Um, I just had somebody ask me if the Ready Whip, the sugar-free Ready Whip is um, dairy-free, but it's made with real cream, so it is not dairy-free. Um, I do believe that they have some other options. You probably can get ones made with almond milk. You know, there's, there's lots of healthier options not healthier, but healthy options, things that are alternative so that um, if you can't do dairy or can't do something like that, that you have something you can use. All right, so this is a, sh again, zero sugar, uh, ready whip, you know, super simple. Be careful, <laughs> you might make a huge mess like I did the first time, um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and stick it right down the center and slowly, so we don't make a huge mess, fill it up, okay? Again, I'll show it to you a little bit. I know that the lighting in here is not fantastic. I'm still working on that. Okay. Now this is not something I would do and set out for a party because of course the ready whip will melt. Um, but you know, if you're hungry and you want something, you want to make something super easy, super fast, this, this is it, right? All right. So to this now today, I'm actually going to use Lily's chocolate chips. Um, but you could use, you could use another fruit. You could use some blueberries. You could use some all chopped almonds, just something that gives it a little bit of kick or a different texture to it would be really great. And of course you could just pop them in your mouth. It's like an hors d'oeuvre, right? Um, now, even though I use Lily Sugar Free Chocolate Chips, I will give you a quick statement that I don't like to use a lot of them. They do contain urethritol. Um, urethritol does, well, can, <laughs> for me does, cause some digestive um, distress um, in an excess amount. So, you know, I'll eat very, very few. Um, so like for here, I'm gonna put a couple on each one. Um, the minis are great too, because you can put a little bit more on there and it won't overwhelm your strawberry, but I'm just gonna stick like two on each, right? Maybe one, maybe two make them kind of pretty, right? And that's it, that's all there is to it. Look at that, super simple, right? Super pretty, you know, it, again, summer, I'm so excited, I'm so ready for warm weather that this is what I, you know, this is the kind of thing that I want right now. I love fruit, love, love fruit. Raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, I'm in, right? So, if you need something super quick, you know, something easy to make, you can throw it together, it will help with that sweet tooth. Um, you know, it's a great option. So let me know what you think. Make them, check it out. See if you came up with an alternative that works great for you. You know, I get my very best ideas from you guys. So if you have a recipe that you would like to share, 
I've, I do, I share a lot of them. Now make sure it's simple, I don't do complicated because a lot of people don't have time for that. Um, and some people don't know how to cook, which you know is a travesty at this point, but you know we wanna make sure that everybody can have a, eat a healthy lifestyle. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure that you hit the like button, subscribe down below, and definitely hit the notification bell so that you can make sure you see all of these that pop up. There's gonna be some new stuff coming up that you won't find on Facebook either. So pay attention to that, you'll wanna check it out. Have an incredible day, you guys, and that is Meals with Melissa. Have an incredible weekend.